shop uh yeah <laughs> so last time uh in case you weren't updated uh you didn't watch the last videos uh basically what happened was we took the heads off um as you can see right here just gotta get this wire out of the way move these we got down to the block here kind of keeping it keeping it chill keeping her chill uh we finished up taking everything down, we took the heads over to the machine shop, and they're just right over here, in this box. Yeah. Basically what we're gonna do, is these are the exhaust manifolds, we're gonna put these on those. Oh. <laughs> A few inches later. Okay, so here can, you can see the table with all of our parts on it. The truck's over here. Got this new, I don't want to say new, new table, but it's a big wooden table that we have now set up. And here's our kit oh. full of seals and stuff. Yeah. What's, what's, uh, what's all this stuff? <laughs> oh, look at, uh, we got some valve cover seals. We've got the upper plenum intake seal. We've got the Intake gaskets. This is the upper plenum intake gasket. So this is the dry one. So there's no antifreeze that goes through here, just air. Yep. We got a couple of camshaft oil seals. This is some sort of a little plug thingy. I'm not sure if we're gonna need that or not. Some more uh, seal thingies. Glasses. <laughs> gaskets slash heat shield thingies. So these are going to replace those. So this is the new one here. Old, new? Oh, yeah. New. Look at that difference. Okay. And the big, the big deal, the big deal, deal for what this entire package is based around these right here. The head gasket kit. We're going to take our uh, glorified utility knife, which is uh, kind of redneck. That's, what, that's how we roll. That's how we roll redneck. over here. Shout out safety gaskets from Pandozi Machine Shop Kelowna. Yeah, Pandozi. There we go. Thank you, Mark. You're awesome. Head gaskets. So head gasket number one. Head gasket number two. V6 engine. One block. Two heads. And this is all of our parts set up right here. Put everything together. Get that truck back together and it should run. Should run fine. Cool. We'll see yeah. how it goes. See you on the other side. Peace. <laughs> A few inches later. Okay, so it's um, day two, and uh, the workspace hasn't changed much. Got this all laid out, got the heads over here. Actually, what I did a couple minutes ago was I grinded off um, the surfaces of this exhaust manifold, and I put them, I put the manifold on the head just to see what it looked like. Also, what we got done last time was this. Just our little exhaust. Right now, um, this is the passenger side, so this is going to sit over here, and that pipe is going to angle downward into there. So the two will have a crossover pipe that goes kind of towards the end of the transmission rather than right in front of the firewall. As you can see right here, this is the crossover pipe, and that is the end we cut off. <clears throat> Look at this now. This is the end. And originally what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to sit like this. It's supposed to sit like that. And the crossover pipe comes over behind the two heads right in front of the firewall. But what we're going to do is we're going to flip it around like this, and then it'll face straight down. And there you go. Make another exhaust. Fits underneath the truck. There you go. Next up, I'm going to take these camshafts out and actually make room for the, the head bolts. Because if you guys remember in the last video, we had to take the head bolts uh, or sorry, the camshafts out to actually get the head bolts out because the head bolts sit like there and the camshaft actually sits in the way of the socket. So yeah, that's a thing. So here we end up after there.
thousand years later. Okay, there you go. Is it rolling? Yeah, it is. Okay. This one, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll go over there. This is the passenger side head. We're gonna put the passenger side head on. Or to fit it. See how it fits for the exhaust pipe. Cool. So that's where it sits, just like that. There's an exhaust plate. Where's that exhaust pointing to? It's pointing to, uh, kind of facing like right down onto the, uh, what do you call it? Kind of like towards the frame a little bit there? Mm -hmm. A little bit towards a little the bit frame. Too tight to the frame. A little bit. It's kind of angled towards the. It's straight down instead of like at a, at a bit of an angle. Okay, we we'll probably just have to monkey with it afterwards. <laughs> I have the couple. Thing. Okay, so um, today, this is our last, uh, we're kind of done for the day, but as you can see, we got some progress. Um, I did it all, by the way. Yeah, it was he was all me. It's all him. This is why we brought him over, because he just did this. No. Yeah. Um, basically, my presence that finished the it actually, <laughs> it actually, It actually is helpful. Yeah. <laughs> but pretty much, we got the distributor on right here attached onto the front of the head we got the heads on first of all they're torqued on they're they're back on there we don't need to touch the heads anymore as as long like to uh to get the heads on anymore uh the actual camshafts themselves are in looking pretty fancy in there all oiled up just keeping cover on them uh, with these we put the new seals on the valve covers so that they sit on there a little bit nicer they're gonna squeeze in really well um, yeah, <laughs> this is weird, but I really like how these match the new water pump. Water pump isn't the only thing that's shiny anymore. Um, but yeah, pretty much, aside from the whole timing belt assembly, as you guys have seen in the last video, and the fan and everything, the intake needs to come back up, and the whole plating needs to go back here, and then just hook up all the hoses, and then build this back. And then I think we should have a motor. We should. I mean, it probably won't run, but we'll have a motor. <laughs> exactly. We'll have a motor that we spent close to two years on rebuilding, um, regardless of what happens. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thousand years later. What's up, guys? Um, it's another day. Uh. The truck's still here. Pieces are still here, and they're still dog. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh, you're not going to let me pet you. Okay, see you later. Anyway, uh, updating you once again, uh, because I'm trying to make this video short. Uh, last time, we got the camshafts in. This dog. I can't, I can't even, I can't even speak. We got the camshafts in last time, and uh, pretty much uh, we put them in. Got the new gaskets on these. Let me turn my ISO up real quick. Uh, we got the new gaskets on the valve covers in. This new rubber bit that goes all the way around. These. These, the old ones. They pretty much don't wear. They don't see a lot. Just oil. So, they stay lubed up. They're good. But, got some new ones just in case. Um, but yeah, pretty much, uh, we got the camshaft set in. We haven't torqued the bolts yet. That's what we're going to start with today, I assume. Uh, another thing we noticed was when we got back... Um, there's a pin in there. It's this little thing. That little pin. This side didn't come back with one. So I'm thinking what we might do is we might call up uh, the machine shop. Just see if they still have it. Or we might just have to get one uh, before we put the sprockets back on. But yeah, basically from there, uh, we can start putting the valve covers back on. And then it's on to the intake. 
and all this and slowly make our way back to the fan shroud over there going up it's just the valve covers we gotta tighten everything as we go then intake fuel rail intake and then timing stuff fan and we should be good we're planning to have this thing done by I'll put a date here but basically I have a, a cousin coming and I want to have this running for when he gets here and he gets here next weekend so we're either gonna get it done when he gets here or we're gonna have it done while he's here which would be also really cool so yeah Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> Alright guys, so we got a bit of a minor update. Um, just from working on it a little bit. That's there. Uh, pretty much what we're doing is my dad's just getting a uh, smaller torque wrench. So we can make sure that we torque down these brackets right. Um, but pretty much from there, uh, we have put on the lower intake uh, and torqued down all these bolts. Uh, yeah, and then from there, uh, we just have this laying here, the fuel rail. The other half is sitting over there. Basically, part of the fuel rail is going to sit here, sit here as well. Uh, put that in. Uh, we're also, like I said, we're going to torque down the camshaft brackets, make sure that's all good. And then from there, we can build up to the top uh, intake, which is sitting right over there. Uh, yeah. We're making progress. It's going going pretty well.